Hey there comic book fans. I'm here to show you a pro tip on how to remove tape from a comic book cover. Though I've mentioned this before on lots of people's channels in the comments section, I've n I don't think I've ever actually shown it. And um, this is what you need. This is Bestine Rubber Cement Thinner. So it says Bestine Solvent and Thinner and it's uh, got all sorts of warnings on it. Precautions, warnings, like use in ven via vel well ventilated area, don't drink it, and stuff like that. You really don't want to soak your fingers in it too much, but, uh, you know, a little bit's okay, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, here's one of the comics that uh, Sarge TD sent me. We're going to use this. Here's a piece of Scotch Magic tape. Oh no! We got it right down on there. This stuff's actually pretty good. It disappears pretty well. So there we go. Got a piece of tape on that, uh, wouldn't want to pull it up just like that because that'll give you a tape pull for sure. Let's see if we can, yeah, look at that tape right over there. So, we need our Bestine. We need Q-tip. I like to, I've also used a paintbrush before, but I've been using Q-tips. And I like to use an X-Acto knife to grab the edge of the tape when I'm first starting out. So we open up our Bestine, soak the Q-tip in there. Oh, we can also, if we want, I do this sometimes, but not all, I don't always remember. You can put a little um, blotter paper underneath. It really doesn't matter one way or the other, but it makes me feel good sometimes. Um, then we just start on, let's see, where is it? This end. And we just soak the edges of the tape Now we can see, you can use your finger if you want, like this, but like I said, I like to use the X-Acto knife. Ah, oh, find the edge. Oh, there we go. There's the very edge. You don't want to uh, grab onto it. You don't want to um, scrape the X-Acto knife against the a little more rubber cement, a little more Bestine. And we rub that right under there. I got the Bestine on the wrong side, pardon me. Should go over here since I'm right-handed. Shouldn't go on my left. And you can see the, whoops, the tape pull up. You can see that the, the you know, this, the kind of staining on the, of the Bestine on the paper, but that drop, Bestine, this rubber cement thinner has such a high evaporation rate that that dries off really quickly and doesn't leave a mark. We just use this, we just pull this piece of tape up. It doesn't leave a mark at all. And if you're doing this on old tape, with old tape, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, I, I've, I've done this countless times also to remove price stickers from trade paperbacks and stuff like that. It, uh, it'll take anything off. But if you're using old tape, sometimes it leaves a residue like this is new tape, it hasn't been down long, so it comes right up with no problem, no residue on the comic itself, and bam! And then that'll dry right off, won't, even, won't, won't leave a watermark or anything, because like I said, it's got such a high evaporation rate that um, it goes away. Do -do 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 -do. Things. And uh, if, if you're taking off old tape uh, that leaves a residue on it, all, all you do is you, you, you may need a whole bunch of Q-tips for it. And you just take a Q-tip with the Bestine on it and rub it on the surface and pick up the residue of the tape. And uh, that, that's all there is to it. And like I said, if, if, if the residue has been there a long time, it may take, you know, half a dozen Q-tips to get it up and a lot of Bestine. But you just keep rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it and uh, it comes up. Yep, still not quite dry yet. We can see the watermark on the back, but it, it goes away. You know, the, be the Bestine doesn't water stain anything because it's a chemical. And use it in a well-ventilated area. So there you go. There are your tools you need. Bestine, my, my portable Q-tips I, I keep over by my desk. X-Acto knife, 
and uh, tape that needs to be removed. So, oh, it's still sticky. But uh, yeah, piece of cake, little little removal thing. Was that stain? The, now, now I'm seeing stains on it. I'm like, that isn't even where I put the tape. <laughs> There's a water stain there. Didn't even notice that before. But tape removal. I've the uh, we used to use this uh, back in the publishing days to thin rubber cement. That's what we to get it to the right, and we'd also use it for getting rubber cement off stuff. And it works fine for uh, comic books too. So, little tip for you for removing tape.